All right, college football practice uh, beginning in less than two weeks. The Utes and Aggies have their media day Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, we were stayed in southern Utah and enjoyed the spotlight this week at the Big Sky Media Day where preseason polls were released. Weber State was picked to finish second in the Big Sky Conference in both coaches and media polls. Eastern Washington picked to finish first. Is there the team to beat? The Wildcats are coming off the best season in program history. 11 wins, two FCS playoff wins, and a number five national ranking. They open the season August 30th against a familiar opponent, the Utah Utes. Jay Hill can't wait to face his alma mater. Well, that's everything. You know, I played there. I coached there for 13 years. Um, probably my biggest mentor in the game is Coach Whittingham and Coach Anderson, who's now on that staff. And so to go back there uh, and play against those particular coaches and, you know, some players that I recruited. They, they've got four or five guys that I recruited that uh, school that are still playing for them. So, I mean, there's so much on that game, and it's going to be su such a fun atmosphere. And we obviously know the challenge that it is because of how good they are. And they're saying that this is one of the best teams they've had in 10 years and all that stuff. It's just everything about the game is exciting to me. All right, Southern Utah didn't earn as much respect. The co-Big Sky champs picked to finish sixth in both polls. Well, they were picked eighth in 2015 and seventh last season. And what did they do? Well, they went on to win the conference title both of those seasons. So this is nothing new for the Thunderbirds. They had five players chosen on the preseason all-conference team, second only to Weber State six. The Thunderbirds open the season September 1st when they host North Alabama. It just gives us more fuel. I mean, uh, we, we still want to gain that respect. We think we're one of the best programs in the country, and, and we're going to keep working like that. And so our guys have done a great job. They know it. we got a tough schedule, and we understand what we're against. So we got we got to work our butts off and, and, and just try to win some games. If we could get turnovers on defense and, and take care of the football on offense, I think we'll, we'll have a really good team. I think our offense is loaded uh, with talent uh, all, all across the board, and uh, we got to get some good quarterback play. If we have great quarterback play, I think we'll, we'll have a chance to really go make a run at this thing again. You know what, it's really awesome to have two FCS programs in the state playing at such a high level. Yeah, and, you know, I can understand Weber State. they got to replace Stephen Cantwell, quarterback. Sure. Okay, Southern Utah, and so I can, and they got a lot of guys coming back too. But Southern Utah, not in the top four after winning it the I last know. two seasons? I know Idaho's back in the conference, but, yeah. Still. I think it's a little bit disrespectful. Yeah, it and is. And people continue to overlook Southern Utah and what they've done. Yeah, it is. And Weber State, probably about where they should be. Yeah, I think so. You know? Eastern Washington is a good program. They are. And so, anyway, it's going to be interesting. Can't wait for those two teams to meet. That's oh, I was at the playoff game last fun. year. Yeah. 10,000 fans in yeah. Cedar City. I mean, think about that. 10,000 fans showing up in Southern Utah. Weber State, big crowds too. Yeah. It's good to see these programs doing so well.